never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call. Hey, St. John family, welcome to another week's children's worship service lesson. I hope you had a great week. I hope you were kind and helpful, and I hope you learned a lot. Before we get started, let's pray. God, thank you for this time that you've allowed us to study your word. We pray that this lesson teaches us about being responsible, about uh, helping others, about putting others first. Uh, so we thank you in advance. Remove any distractions that we may have. In Jesus' name, amen. Do you just wake up and you know it's going to be a good day? Uh, God is doing some great things here at the St. John Church. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for us today. You know, so this month we're talking about responsibility and we're going to remember that responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Right now, I'm ready to sing and give praises unto God. I've been waiting for this all week. You know, we get to be the hands and feet of Jesus to this world and, and we get to show others, uh, you know, his love. We What an amazing responsibility that is for you and I. You know, so when we sing, we're going to sing to him. And, and what we're saying is that, you know, we want to live for Jesus. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find that you're already right here with me. Never been alone. I can trust you with my heart. Cause this I know. Trust you with my heart. There are days when I feel I need a friend, and then I hear your voice reminding me again that you're already right here with me, never been alone. I can trust you with my heart, cause this I know. You are always faithful, you love me from the start. trust you with my heart no matter what may come no matter what i go through god you are never gonna fail me i will trust you with my heart you are always faithful you love me from the start no matter what i'm facing i will trust you with my heart All right, friends, I want to share a really important rule for life. And it's written by a man named Solomon, King Solomon. And if we want to live in a responsible way, Solomon told us a great way to do it. You see, Solomon was a young man when he became the ruler um, of Israel after his father, David. And one night, God spoke to Solomon in the dream. And, you know, he told Solomon to ask for anything he wanted. And Solomon could have asked, you know, for riches or to live a long life. But Solomon asked for wisdom. Sure enough, God gave him wisdom. And Solomon became, he became known as one of the wisest people who ever lived. He shared many wise sayings that are collected uh, in the book of Proverbs in our Bibles. And to help you understand what Solomon said in one of his uh, Proverbs, I brought along a friend. Uh, some of you might have met her before. Uh, she might have even visited, you know, outside your home once or twice and helped herself to something sweet that maybe fell on the ground. Uh, a lot of people think that my friend could be a little annoying, but we can learn a lot 
uh, some lot of a lot of valuable lessons from her. Please welcome Queen Antoinette. Why, thank you, sugar. I'm so happy to be here. I first met Antoinette when she was carrying a piece of apple. It looked like it was like as big as a car to her. Um, so, Antoinette, will you help me uh, teach these kids something about uh, the Proverbs? Is it the one about the ant? Ah, spoiler alert. Oh, sorry, sugar. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. This proverb explains why it's important for us to work hard. Listen to this. It's at Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. And it reads, You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler. But it stores up food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Well, that was very nice of him to say. I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, ants really do work hard. Uh, have you ever seen an ant hill before? Have you thought about how long it takes them to, to make that? You know, you've seen maybe one of those in your yard or at the park. Um, there, it's, it's amazing. Over there on Jefferson Street? Great colony. I visit sometimes. Uncle Anthony lives there. If you watch an ant hill, you'll see that the ants are always hard at work. They're always coming and going from their home. All summer, they go out and they collect food. They bring it back to the hill to store it for the winter. And remember, no one tells uh, them to collect food. Ants don't have a boss or a teacher or a coach giving them a set of rules. Uh, they work hard because that's how they're made. You know, if ants were lazy, they wouldn't survive. Slug here. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Wait, who are you? I'm the slug. You know, from the Bible. I don't remember a slug being in that proverb. Uh, wait, some versions of that passage talk about a sluggard. Like, go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. Um, but... A sluggard is someone who doesn't work hard. Solomon was comparing an ant who works hard to a lazy person. He wasn't talking about, like, an actual slug. Well, I'm here now. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, Solomon was comparing people who work hard to people who are lazy. And uh, he was saying that we can learn a lot from the people or ants who work hard. That sounds horrible. I'd rather be in the shade under a rock. Okay, while you're both here, could I give you a few scenarios and and we can see how uh, you would both respond to them? Of course, sugar. How can I help? <sighs> I should have stayed in bed. Okay, here's the first one. Your mom asks you to clean your room. What do you do? Well, as an aunt, I don't have a room, and I don't have a house like people do either. But if I did, I think I'd start by taking the dirty dishes I had to the kitchen. Wouldn't want to attract any bugs, after all. Then I'd put all my dirty clothes in the laundry basket instead of just leaving them all over the floor. My toys would go on the shelves where they belong. I'd vacuum the floor. Oh, and I'd make sure my bed was made. Yeah, it sounds like you would work really hard to obey your mom. Anything else? If I had time, I'd clean the bathroom, too. My mom didn't ask, but I'm sure she would appreciate it. Wow. What about you, Slug? Hmm, question. If I clean my room, what do I get out of it? What's in it for me? Well, I, I don't think that's really the point. Do I get more screen time or more allowance? Your, your mom didn't say. Well... To be honest, I'd probably push everything under my bed. And whatever didn't fit, I'd hide that in my closet. Then I'd eat cookies in my bed. Mm. Your method of cleaning doesn't sound clean at all. Hmm. Potato, potato. Next. Okay. Uh, scenario number two. Your math teacher encourages you to complete a worksheet on your own time at home. What do you do? 
I'd start on the worksheet as soon as I got home, before I even played Animal Crossings or Among Us or anything like that. I'd show my work, and I'd write down how I got the answers. I'd also ask my friends if they needed any help. Question. Instead of helping me with my worksheet, could you just do it for me? I don't think you'd learn very much that way, sugar. Question. If I do the worksheet, will I get extra points? Your teacher didn't say. So what should you do? I'd probably lie around all night like this. Then, the next morning, I'd give my best guess at the answers on the worksheet. Maybe. Hmm. Last scenario. You're in um, the, the class at church and your uh, teacher tells you to uh, mo help move the chairs because there's an event later on that day. Oh, fun. I'm really good at moving things. I would move the chairs and ask if there was anything else I could do to help prepare for the event. Question. Are the chairs actually fluffy pillows? No, they're, they're normal chairs. Yeah, that's a hard pass for me. Moving really isn't my thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, consider the ant and the slug. Who's the harder worker? Okay, we all know. Just like Solomon wrote in his proverb, Antoinette doesn't need a reward for working hard. The ant just works hard. It's a hard worker just because. The slug, on the other hand... Thank you to the ant and slug for helping us with today's lesson. Uh, just like the ant, we can choose to work hard and do our best. That's a great way to be responsible. We should work hard to keep our rooms clean and to help around the house. We can, we can work hard at listening to our teachers, doing our best on our assignments, and obeying the rules in the classroom. We can work hard at being a good friend and helping others and showing God's love every day. God has given us everything we need to be responsible, and we can we can do that by working hard. That's what we need to do today. We need to remember today, you know, it's a great rule for life. It's our bottom line. What is it? Work hard. Yep, that's it. It's just that simple. Work hard. Be like the ant, not like the slug. King Solomon recognized that ants make up their own minds to work hard. You know, they're not motivated by an allowance or extra screen time. You know, their hard work pays off with food reserves for times of shortage. Ants do whatever it takes to keep their colony safe. And you know what's crazy? They get the job done with only about 250,000 brain cells. But you're different than the ant. God made us with about 10 million brain cells. And it's plain to see God's given us what we need to work strong and smart and creatively, you know, because he's given us, um, just given us so much, God expects more of us. Now, working hard might look like mowing extra yards to support a friend in the hospital. Sometimes it might look like waking up and straightening your room before your mom asks you. It could even look like helping your little sister put together that massive Lego palace. All we have to do for inspiration is to look to Jesus. When he came to earth, Jesus knew exactly what he needed to do. He lived a perfect life, performed miracles, taught lots of people, and died on the cross for you and me. I mean, come on, laziness is easy. Working hard is not. Taking the initiative to get work done instead of waiting for someone to tell you to do something requires effort. It's important to remember God gives us what we need to follow through. The Bible is full of insightful truths that sometimes use ants as illustrations. God uses these truths to transform our lives. I want you to consider this question. When have you had to work hard? Think about the times in your life when you had to give everything it took to finish this project at school or some task at home. How did it feel to accomplish those things? And how do you think knowing that you can work hard can help you in the future? That's some pretty big questions. 
But the truth is, God gives us what we need to finish those tasks. Before we leave today, let's pray and ask God to help us work hard. God, you created us in your image. You created us to do good things. We don't want to be like the, the slug, lazy and selfish. We want to give our very best effort every day. Help us to make the wise choice and work hard, even when we don't want to. When we're tempted to be lazy, please remind us of the ant and help us get to work. We love you, God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory verse for this month is Luke chapter 16, verse 10. And Jesus said, Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can be trusted with something very large. When you work hard with something small, you never know. You might end up with an even bigger responsibility and a chance to make an even bigger difference. Don't wait for your mom to ask you to clean your room or your teacher to ask you to help clean up the classroom. Work hard and always give your best effort. That's it. Work hard. So as we begin this new week, I pray that you work hard. I pray that you remind yourself that God expects you to give your absolute best. So until I see you the next time, God bless you. Bye. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find that you're already right here with me. Never been alone. I can trust you with my heart. Cause this I know.